Hi everybody, this is Kurt from Grand Purpose Piano. I'm getting ready to install the dampers into this piano. I've already, uh, in the last video, showed you how I established the, the uh, damper guide rail. And now that that's fixed and in position, I did a few modifications to the action. Um, I put on the new tabs and I um, reconditioned it. I refelted everything, uh, all the new cushions down here. I also um, took away the spring. There was a huge spring that was over in this location and it was very, very strong. So what I did is I did the way the, um, the modern way that they're doing it now, which is putting the spring in this location, which is closer to that rest area. So um, my feeling is, is that because there's such a huge cavity over here, that any pressure put down over here is going to affect this rail and it's going to warp. So um, um, by having that spring there, you, believe it or not, this end popped up and now I have a straighter line in this area. So I've wedged it in the area that I want uh, it to be uh, when I put the dampers in and starting to tighten up the, the screws. So this is all about timing. Um, when you play a key, the damper should activate, um, you know, about halfway the distance up uh, between rest position and hitting the string. You know, there's a lot of variation there, but, um, you know, for the most part, you don't want it to activate right away. Um, and and that's, that's, what, that's kind of like what I'm trying to do here. Now there's a couple of tools that are available. I'm sure there are even more than these, but um, these tools measure on the back of the key where this felt is here um, in, in the rest position. So when I use this tool, which is really my go-to tool, I like this one for Steinways and stuff like that. This, this tool will go so it just, just reaches the top of the back of the key. Um, and then this thickness, this distance here, is where I will set my uh, underlevers. So you'll see, so I have it here. Just want to show you. Okay, and then I go over to the piano. And I had gone ahead and then I slide it in underneath here. And that's when it goes right underneath there. And so this way, that's gonna be my measurement. Okay, so you can see it slides right in. And the reason why I leveled and I went ahead and shimmed all these is because now I have that straight line that I was talking about. And I can actually use my um, underlever um, tray as the, um, as the placement for all my dampers. So just by wedging it up, I'll have them all lift exactly the same. Uh, I like doing it this way. Some guys do it differently in sections and, you know, everybody has their own method and I'm sure they've perfected it and worked it to work best for them. So everybody has a, a different way of approaching things. I like doing it this way. Now, the other method was to use this tool here. Now, this is a, uh, I'm not gonna give the guy a plug, but anyway, it's Spurlock. You know, he makes a lot of tools. And you know, it's, uh, some of them are great. Some of them you can make yourself, believe me. You know, sometimes it's better to make a tool yourself. You have a good feel for it. But if you don't wanna buy, if you don't wanna make a tool, then you can buy a tool. And then you could buy something like this for whatever it costs. So now this does the same thing. You could see the way it looks here. Uh, it has adjusters to be a little feet so that I can adjust the height. And then again, I want to, I want it to be able to slide right in. Let me get it to a place where you can see it. And I want to slide it in right to where it's right above the back of the key. And again, this distance here will be where, and I'll set my tabs on top of that. So there'll be that much distance before the key makes contact with the underlever assembly. All right, so this is that tool. And then what people would do with this, with some pianos that don't have, that really, how really, some pianos are really messed up and every section has to be 
done differently. So you would put this underneath each section um, of the piano and you would have to regulate uh, accordingly. But this one here does the same thing. It, it slides right underneath and it's, it's, it's a very good method as well, depending on how you use it. I like using my tray as my straight edge for everything once I've established my heights. So that's a little bit more of an explanation as to what's going on here. So I'm getting ready to put my dampers in. Now, once I start, I've already cut everything. All the dampers are ready to go. They'll slide in place very nicely uh, and everything is, is lined up and is gonna work well. So I'll, I'll lay all my dampers in and then when I'm ready to tighten up the screw, I use a bean bag and I'll show you that in the next shot. The bean bag kind of holds the, holds the dampers down, puts a little bit of weight on them so that when I tighten up the screw, they, um, they're in a better position and they're, they're a little bit more settled. And that's what I'm looking for. All right, so I'll get back to you in a minute with that. Mm -hmm. 